Blue Bean, so we posted a story. We were on a punch walk with our clients doing our final punch walk after the AFT team walk, but now we're showing a little behind the scenes of the iPad. A previous video, we talked about the Super Satchel, and now here's the iPad that we had strapped across that Spencer uh, will show here in this video. But essentially, on that Instagram video with Andrew, we were showing how we do our punch list, and we got a lot of comments in our feed asking to do us a, a video about how we do our punch list. And here's the advantage of Bluebeam. So everyone knows that we work with Build-A-Trend, that's our project management software. Build-A-Trend's phenomenal for our scheduling and our daily logs, um, our RFIs. We'll do another video on how we use our RFIs, our request for information with Architect, and our design team through Build-A-Trend, and the owner portal, right? And change orders, right? All this communication that's happening uh, for project management software, that's really important to use Build-A-Trend. Now, Bluebeam, is a great additional app that we have. And the reason Beam is that Bluebeam is what we use exclusively for punch. We love the capability because of Bluebeam, we can upload all of the plans for the building. We can have them all set to scale. And as you'll see further in this video, that with that, we can actually, as we're walking the home, we can document it. So what's great about it, we have our iPad. And as we're taking pictures, of all the punch list items throughout the house for each trade, we can put little bubble boxes, we can use voice text, which now, you know, especially for the longer text, we can type with our little Apple Pencil. And so as we're walking through, we have this living, breathing iPad document, right, through uh, Bluebeam that we can send out to all of our trades and this controls our punch list. Bluebeam's great as well for layering. So as we're redlining plans and we're checking spacing in the house, or as built, if you will, it is a great solution uh, to have this documentation on our iPad that's completely mobile. And then Bluebeam's come out with an app that we'll speak about. So for only us, our Bluebeam app's like 10 bucks, right, that we have on there. But for our trades, it's for free. And they can actually have access to all of the information that we allow them access to, similar to an owner portal on Builder Trend. And now through Bluebeam, we can track all these punch items. So check this out, how we're using Bluebeam to edit and manage our punches throughout the build. Okay, so right now what we're working with is the Bluebeam app. This is a $10 app, which is worth its weight in gold. You can do so much with it. Uh, and one of the things that we like to use it for is this punch list feature. So we are able to take and create a document that has multiple blank sheets on it. And we can add sheets to this document. So as we're going along, we want to add more punch list items. We can just add more sheets to it. So the way we would add sheets to it or add punch list items to it would be come here to a bank blank page and if we have a punch list item I would take a picture and let's just say I'll just go right here on this floor outlet take the photo I'll use the photo move it up here and then I might say something like uh, move the outlet so I can Type move outlet. 12 inches. 12 inches. You can just add a call out and then you can just do your voice text. So if you have something longer that you want to say, you don't want to spend a bunch of time typing, that's a really nice feature. And then uh, also what you can do like for items that are already created, you can add more information. Like if you wanted to cloud something, you can add a cloud, cloud box or just any of the many features that are here in this Bluebeam app. You can uh, do different highlighting lines. You can insert pictures. I can go over here. We can add already taken pictures or we can add our own photos. And one of the nicer things that you can do in here, if a drawing has the scale set, if we open up a set of drawings right here, one of the things that we can do um, is if you're trying to do dimensioning, you can take this and you can, you can uh, dimension these drawings. So you can add two points in here and it will dimension it. Now, you can see here that it's, uh, if I go like this, you can see it gets pretty close to being accurate if the scale is set. So that's five, eight and a quarter. So if the scale was already set in the sheet, you can easily double check different dimensions. So if there was something that I wanted to measure, for example, how far over is that sink, I can take, this here and I can just plug it on the middle of the sink and then go to the outside of that wall and that gives me a dimension here. So this is really helpful for double checking it. 
And it's really very accurate if the scale is set in the page prior to uploading this document to the Bluebeam app. But going back to this punch list, uh, this gives us uh, just the ability to walk around the home and take a picture because really a picture is worth a thousand words when you're trying to explain to a, somebody that hasn't been here for a while or has never seen the item. You're showing them the picture of the location and giving them a description of what needs to happen. So we find that if you just send a list to a trade and they come out, they might get 70 or 80% of it. But when they have pictures and this, they come out and they can get all of it, or at least they have a much better understanding of what's going on and what you're trying to communicate to them. And to me, that's what Bluebeam and this app is all about, is just communication. Because we're trying to, we're trying to explain to them something that we feel is either doesn't meet our quality standards or that we think is not per plan, or maybe it's a revision that somebody's asked them to change, whether that's the homeowner or us. So it just helps to communicate that. Also, it allows us to track uh, what we're doing. So this document, instead of just changes going on a plan that's sitting here at the job site, we can make this punch list or we can add markups to a full set of drawings and that can be transmitted to all parties right after the meeting. Go back to the office, get that sent out. iPad is really good uh, because our superintendents all have them in the field, but not all our subcontractors have them. So Bluebeam has just recently rolled out uh, the Bluebeam Cloud, which allows more users to have it at essentially no cost as a viewer. And if they're invited as a member, they can make markups onto the drawings. And so so what we can do now is we can create projects. I've just created this little AFT sample project, right as we got here. And we can add drawings to this. So we have the, uh, can have a drawing set in here. We can have punch list items and RFIs within this. So I created one punch list item in here. Oops, view all. Open the punch list. So I just said punch, punch number six, test punch and you can add what information that you want to include in this, who you assign it to, and then you can add pictures. So I have Pat and Brad in here attached. So once I do that, then I can just save that and send that out to whoever was assigned to use it. So this is a convenient thing for just kind of onesie twosie types of things. If you're walking the house and you want to get something sent out quickly from your phone, whereas the iPad is, if you're going to spend several hours creating a punch list, to me, this is what you want to do. And then you can send that out in a larger document. But, but I really like this new Bluebeam Cloud just because it's going to allow more of our trades have access to Bluebeam and to the documents that we want to share with them without them feeling like they have to go pay for a subscription or anything like that. And so I, I believe it's really going to help us have more reach and just when trades are asking about drawings or whatever, we can just refer them to this cloud and they'll be able to go right in there from their phone and view any drawing that we have uploaded.